Luxus Dragnet. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to speak about an anime that may or may not be a half-off brand version. Moreover, this anime only had one episode, which is sad. With that said, let's get started right away. Masayuki was talking to her buddy Matsushita in this scene. Since it was Masayuki's first night as the only person in her home, Matsushita made a joke about how he would do it every night. But Masayuki responded that he would never do that and also that's not her style. After that, Masayuki arrived at her home because he was the only one there with both of her parents working abroad. He yelled that he was home as he opened the door, but he later admitted to himself that he hadn't anticipated that anybody else would be in the house but he didn't know that someone girl enter in her house. And she also welcomed him. Damn! Thus, Shimizu informed Masayuki that she would be his housekeeper while his parents were away. As a result, Masayuki seemed a little perplexed and asked him why she needed to wear that outfit merely to greet her. So Shimizu kind of confuses Masayuki by saying that he is not happy with what she is wearing right now, so she asks him if something is wrong with what she is wearing, so that Masayuki becomes straightforward with Shimizu, telling him that every housekeeper should really be wearing that thing just, just to greet her in her house and also that she is a famous girl in her school too. After Masayuki said that, there was a brief period of silence. Then, Shimizu approached Masayuki, who was still perplexed by her sudden approach. She told him that she had read a book about it and knew that every boy adored it, so she asked him if there was anything she had done wrong. Masayuki replied that everything she was wearing was incorrect. But then Shimizu began to panic, and Masayuki told her that she was crazy, causing the situation to become quiet once more. It appears that Shimizu now knows what she will do, while Masayuki seems to be somewhat perplexed to Shimizu. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! After that day, Masayuki became anxious about it, and when Matsushita asked him if he was tired, it appeared that Masayuki was worried about telling him about Shimizu. As a result, Matsushita jumped to the wrong conclusion and assumed that Masayuki was tired because he was performing that action. But Masayuki insisted that he hadn't. Then, while they were talking, Shimizu called Masayuki. And because she was upset that he went to school without her, she reminded him that he had also forgotten his lunchbox. She then brought him the lunchbox that he had forgotten, and Matsushita was somewhat taken aback to see the famous girl talking to Masayuki because he only knew that Shimizu's house was close to Masayuki's but he had no idea that Shimizu was that close to Masayuki too. It seems that Shimizu was so focused on Masayuki that she completely forgot Matsushita's words and so she told him as punishment that he needed to accompany her to the grocery store after school. Masayuki immediately apologized for leaving without her and for forgetting her lunchbox, but he asked him to talk outside so Masayuki pushed Shimizu outside to talk to him. And that concludes today's video. People, just so you know, this is anime, not off-brand anime. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.